Are you mad because small? The Are you jealous of tall? Emic oh, okay. is out of sight. Good. Let's speak of the plan. It's stroke of genius, really. We have Emmett Soak. Train the trip dis. Aside from being able to fly untransformed, he can readily see either currents. And with this adept spellcraft, he can also employ suitable wind magics to guide the creature along. While he is indeed capable of all you described, it is not his duty. I am loath to trouble him with it. I didn't realize Hermes was over there. Don't be. As I mentioned, it would also be for his own sake. With that settled, let us begin at once. Valtuna, I want you to go to Eminza. Tell him that you have a favor to ask. You will be disinclined to cooperate at first, but you mustn't be discouraged. Our friend, the trick is to be unflaggingly persistent. Off you go now, and good luck. With the chat mode in say, use your keyboard or the software keyboard to enter any phrase containing the words, I have a favor, a little, a favor to ask, to indicate to MSL that you have a request. No. I well, have if a... you're playing this on PS5, you could actually say, I have a favor to ask, and they would type it in. I have a microphone attached to my computer. Why can't I just say it? Well, because, you know, the, the controller has that speech. I don't want your sensible answer. Speak into controller. I don't want your sensible answer. Because typing sucks. It's probably Todd Howard's fault. It's always Todd Howard's fault. But it doesn't seem like the overseer of the experimental thing should be getting so emotionally attached. Uh, Hermes seems... Compromised. He's like a good chum, but yes, it's... Perhaps not the job of the person who should be... Good person, maybe not the best steward. Yes. I uh, have a favor to ask. So, wait, hold up. Can I type anything I want before that? Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Clips channel. Did you know this isn't our main channel? But yet, you should subscribe over and find our main videos and our streams as well. We also have a podcast that you can find wherever podcasts can be found. So, explore the internet. See you there. Um, uh, you delightfully cranky <laughs> body it pillow. It works on the back end, too. I have a favor to ask. Oh, my God, it works. Yep. <laughs> Front or back, doesn't matter as long as it's in there. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not lifting a finger. I don't know what Hithlodeus is up to, and I will not be made to know. I refuse. If Hithlodeus is to be believed, relentless insistence may serve to wear down the ever wary Emmett Sel We have to nag him. Yep. <laughs> With the chat mode and say, use your keyboard or. <laughs> oh my god, you can say anything you want after it. Please, Emmett Selk, to please. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please. There's a comma there, right? Yep. Emmett hyphen Selk. Be my best friend, and together we shall conquer the cosmos. Nicely done. I have said, please, Emmett Selk, I would date with you. <sighs> no, no, no. You are not foisting this nonsense on me. <laughs> Oh, no. Dang. I, I forgot my oh, comma. Uh, uh, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle left up, everybody. I, I forgot. As yeah. as I verbally dictated out there loud that a comma was required. I know. Kyle, as so often, was like, whatever Garrett's saying is boring. I got I'm going to no do it my way. Commas. Well, e Emmett is a stickler for punctuation. Yes, of course. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you dancing? Oh, this is playing oh, some wacky music. Oh, hold up. Being wacky. It's like this, this is a very wacky slow walking bass line. This is that music I keep telling you reminds me of Twin Peaks. Oh, okay. I'm given to understand you have the power to help the Charybdis and should be quite willing to do so. Quite willing indeed. He's a little breathy. So I appeal to your him. better nature, most benevolent Emmett Selk. Please teach her to fly. 
Or else Hermes will transform. Right now. But naked. Now, now, there's no need to go quite that far. Altruism is its own reward, as I'm sure he would agree. Oh, would he now? And who contrived to put me in this position, pray tell? Nothing so devious. I merely suggested a possible course of action. Please, Emmett Sulk! Please! all this way to play nursemaid to your creations. I thank you to remember this favor and let it be the last. Yeah. Could you? have designed an edgier mount. I will aid it once it is taken to the air. It falls to you to shepherd it skyward. Well, let's relax and enjoy the spectacle, shall we? With story time? <laughs> Yes. You were wondering why Emmett Selk joined the convocation. Here you go, Kyle. Truth be told, he wasn't the first choice for the office. I was. On the strength of my ability to see Ether. But I declined the offer. For though my vision is exceptional, I am pedestrian in all other aspects. Worse even. Quite a abysmal when it comes to manipulating ether, for example. Couldn't transform even if I had a mind to do so. That's interesting. What good is the ability to perceive a problem if one cannot act to address it? Emmett Selk has no such shortcomings. He excels in vision and manipulation both, the latter to an extraordinary degree. If there is a mage more powerful, I do not know of them. Thus did I recommend him for the office in my stead. And I wasn't the only one. Far from it. Countless others vouched for his skill and character. People the world over, to whom he had previously lent a helping hand. <laughs> oh, how surprised he was. Claimed he hadn't done anything remarkable for anyone. Modest to a fault. He deserved every bit of acclaim he received. Yet he may well have gone unappreciated were it not for a mutual friend. A singular soul who can't help but involve himself in the business of others. Where <laughs> he walks, guess. excitement is certain <laughs> to follow. His antics irritate Emmett Selk to no end. <laughs> but much of his grumbling stems from genuine concern. When our friend calls, he never fails to answer and lend his talents. And in the course of doing so, he himself came to be recognized and respected by those around him. <laughs> they are truly remarkable individuals, and I'm proud to call them friends. All that talent and he shall help still shot Graha with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> this will be my greatest contribution to our world. And when they have fulfilled their respective purposes, so too shall I have fulfilled mine. And together we may return to the star. Look at me, spilling my innermost secrets. I can't seem to help it with you. I can only assume it is due to the color of your soul. 
I just don't understand how you can be so alike and yet so different. <laughs> well done, my pet. Well done! Ah, yes. I dare say the Charybdis will be fine here on. Why don't you go and signal to Emmett Selk? Let him know that his arduous task is at an end. It really works to be running around in the ancient robe for these scenes. Mm. Feels cohesive. Very, um... Mm, no surprise. The reference I'm going to pull. Very Jedi Council. I like yeah. it. Ooh, I like the, the kind of green hue we're in right now. Making our way down. Town? Nope. I refuse. Kyle, I'm making my way so. downtown. I'm... Wait, is this orb not related to me? Oh, I have to wave at him. Wave at Emmett! <laughs> I mean, it did, it did say... Oh, I can't... Uh, mayo! <laughs> I can't... Oh, I think I, I think... I think you just wave. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Emmett does not appear to be selectable. Oh, okay. Emmett is not targetable. Emerging from his reverie... Emmett Selk notices you and be begins to descend with the Charybdis. Sorry, Mayo. Thank you, Chad, for the call and response. I also am homebound. I have no words to express my gratitude. Thanks to you, the Charybdis has learned to fly. We'll now sing the Foo Fighters in celebration. Valentuna and I relaxed and had a pleasant chat. <laughs> I'm sure you did. The creature needed some small assistance at first, but soon it was flying more or less on its own. I doubt you will need to repeat the lesson. That was truly impressive. <laughs> I was not expecting that read. I witnessed it from afar. The Charyptus flies! Indeed. With this, we've proven that even a creature with skewed etheric balance is capable of flight. Though we helped it to achieve this, the Charyptus is a herd animal. They may well aid their struggling kin in like fashion, if and when the need arises. Keeping this in mind, I bid you continue observing them. If that is what you want. But if I may say so, rather than hoping, uh, hoping an idealistic possibility comes to pass, would not be simple to have the concept adjusted? That way we could guarantee that abnormalities such as this specimen are never born in the first place. These creatures are already here. We will spare no effort in giving them a chance to survive. As you wish, Chief. As you wish. We spared no expense. Hermes? I'm fine. Don't worry. Well, that concludes all of my present tasks. Let us return to Agnorisis for now. <laughs> Wave at Emmett so complete. <laughs> 
Now that I got the pillow, I wave at him every morning. I come in the office. Every morning. Good every morning. morning. Sup, bo- sup, buddy. Sleep well. <laughs> Way to make it weird. Good job. You're welcome. It was already weird. Yeah, I think Chad is right. I think uh, Hermes would win a P- uh, PETA award. Mm. Yeah, no, it's it's you know it's a nice humanitarian thing to do. But they're they're not humans. Yeah, they're tall internet boyfriends. True. What? Want to apologize for forcing me to help? Do you? Save your breath. You didn't force me to do anything. I merely chose the most expeditious way to have done with an impediment to our business. Nifflejay has giggled. Did you see that? Yep. Got him. <laughs> I'm tired. Beep, beep, beep. Very well. <laughs> yeah. Kitty's attempting the polite door close, but she's having to contend with like 20 balloons yeah, that are sucking the balloons in the way. Oh, no.